Whither away so fast? said Brian. Just practicing my speed trials, said the train. I'm the fastest thing in the garden, she said. Care to have a race, said Brian, against little old speedy me. The train shook with laughter. My dear, she said. But Brian was not put off. A race, he said. All right, said the train, I'll give you three miles start. That's telling him, girl, said Francis. When you're ready, said the train, giggling. Just limbering up, said Brian. So am I, said the train. Ready? Whoop. Dougal was looking for Brian. I don't know. When you don't want them, snails are under your feet. But when you do want them, huh, can't be found. I hear your friend Brian is giving the train a race, said Ermintrude happily. What? said Dougal. Racing a train? He's gone off his head. At last. Florence arrived. And Zebedee. I hear there's a race going on, he said. Care to go and see it? Oh, very much, said Florence. It's between Brian and the train, said Zebedee. Most unusual. Florence was delighted. Spinning well, I see, said Zebedee. Shall we go? So they went. Dougal was organising things as usual, but Florence wanted to start the race. Ready, she said. And they were. So they went. Care to take a bet, said Dougal. I should like the snail to win, said Ermintrude, but then I'm a sentimental old thing. He's four miles behind already, said Dougal. Give him time. Time? <laughs> He'll need it. Florence picked some flowers for the winner. But the train ran out of steam. And so finally did Brian. Florence wondered where they'd got to. Been arrested for speeding, I shouldn't wonder, said Dougal. Poor pathetic little clump. I shouldn't have let him do it. <laughs> Ermintrude said the contestants seemed to have given up. But it was very, very exciting while it lasted. Yeah, about as exciting as the weather forecast, said Dougal. But Ermintrude insisted it had been exciting. Zebedee arrived. Race over, he asked. Looks like it, said Dougal. I'm thinking of entering them for the next Monte Carlo rally. <laughs> well, better get to bed then, said Zebedee. All right, said Florence. And she asked Dougal, to give the flowers to Brian and the train. Good night, she said. I wish people wouldn't leave all the work to me, sighed Dougal. How do I pick this lot up? Really? Really? <laughs> Feel such a fool. <laughs>